So today I want to show you a tool that's actually long overdue. We're long overdue for showing you this. This tool's been out for about eight months. The reason that I'm bringing it up is because there was a photograph that I wanted to edit today and this tool will actually work perfect for it. And I realize I haven't created a tutorial for this, so no time like the present. So in particular, I love shooting architecture. And whenever you shoot in architecture, in particular with wide angle lenses that maybe aren't til tilt shift lenses or things like that, it's very common where you get distortion, um, where your perspective isn't correct. And, and sometimes distorting perspective actually works for the photograph. But in this case, in this photograph, I'm not crazy about how my lines, my vertical lines in particular, are not straight. And so this tool is going to help us fix that. It's called the Guided Upright Tool, and it's very, very easy to use. So step number one, according to the people at Adobe, I'm not exactly sure why they want you to do this, but what you need to do is head on over to your lens correction tab and make sure that the remo remove chromatic aberration is turned on and that you enable your profile corrections. You can do both of those by just clicking on these two buttons. Once you've done that, you're ready to go into the guided upright tool. So make sure you do that first. Now for the guided upright tool, you can get there a couple of ways. You can hit shift T to get there or you can just go underneath the transform section and right here is something that looks like a hashtag hashtag guided upright tool and click on it and that will activate it from here the rest is pretty simple you can either measure vertical lines horizontal lines or both if your image has problems with both vertical and horizontal lines you can measure all of that and it'll try and correct all of it. Sometimes I find like if you get a little too aggressive with this, your results won't really work that well. So be careful with it, experiment, have some fun with it. Um, but in particular, this photograph, the vertical lines are wrong. So we're going to fix them. Now look for a reference point, something in the photograph that you know should be straight. In this image, I'm going to use that pipe that's heading down the side of the building that looks like a pretty good reference line for me. So you're just going to click with your mouse and drag in one motion. Click, drag, and as I do, you can see you can swivel this back and forth. And all you want to do is match your line up with your reference line. And once you have it exactly where you want it, you're just going to let go. So we've measured this side of the photograph. Now we need to measure the other side of the photograph so that way it knows what to measure uh, or compare it to so that everything is upright. So in this example on the left side, I'm going to use um, where the black of the door meets the white of the brick. I think that that should work pretty well. Again, click and drag. Once I get to the bottom, let go and boom, just like that, all of my vertical perspective has been corrected. And all you have to do is hit return or enter on your keyboard and that will lock that in or hit the done button at the bottom here that will also make sure that your effect has been uh, taken into consideration and locked in if i turn this toggle switch on and off you can see the before and after of what a wonderful job that has done from here you can continue editing the prop the, the photograph just like you would any other photograph it really doesn't matter what you do from here tip that we wanted to show you today was using this guided upright tool to fix your perspective. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, comments, likes, subscribes, all of that is always appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam. I'm out.